Good morning and welcome back to another day in the race car life. It's been a couple of weeks, a lot to catch up on. I've been uh, sick, I've been out on vacation and then I went out of state for work. So I've been doing a little bit of daily driving in the Lambo, not a whole lot though, but today it's a very exciting day because the Lambo is finally legal. Now, at least every single time I grab this little key here that looks exactly like my R8 key and probably every VW key, I don't feel bad about going out and I'm not gonna be looking over my shoulder. Well, more or less. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go put our plates on. They finally came in. Excited that the plates are in, not excited about the cost. I'm gonna keep it very short and sweet today. We're gonna be talking about how much these stickers that make these car legal cost me. Let's head down to the garage. So quick cold start, twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan. By the way, cold starts on these cars don't sound as good as the NA cars because the turbos really quiet them down. We just needed to scoot it up a little bit. This garage is really small, so I needed room to get in the back and uh, you know put the new license plate on. By the way, quick mileage check. I'm not sure if you guys can quite see that. 31,168. What was our starting mileage when I took delivery? 29 something, 29.6, 29.8, so roughly 13, 1400 miles um, in the past like, what did I get it a month ago, maybe? Uh, so not bad for a month considering I was oh, two months maybe but uh, not bad considering I was uh, out for a couple of weeks so um, yeah definitely need to get some more miles on this guy uh, we still need to retune it and then service do light finally came on so next video is probably gonna be uh, annual service costs which by the way heads up it's not very much um, so if you're interested in seeing what it would cost to annual service your Lamborghini P.S. A lot of highly qualified Lamborghini shops can do the service, not just Lamborghini dealerships. And it does go on record. You do get to keep the records and it goes on your car packs. So if you were scared about Lamborghini service cost, don't be. I'll go over that in the next video. It's really not bad. It's the exact same thing as the R8. Okay, we got to put the uh, temporary dealer plate that I was using away. And um, sometimes the frunk gets stuck. So let's see if it works. Yeah, you see, look, look at this. Look at the Volkswagen built car. I can't get my hand under, but it's supposedly fully released. Right? And it's completely stuck. So I gotta push it back in. There we go, and it pops out. Usually it takes two or three tries for this little guy. Whoops. There we go. By the way, funny story, uh, carry-on luggage, 20 inch, fits right here. Just dropped off my fiance at the airport yesterday and I uh, was extremely surprised that it fit completely sideways. I'll probably try to post a picture that I took right here because I was shocked. Completely sideways, it completely snug, it was nice. All right, so here we are. We've got my fresh new plate month. Obviously that was for April. I had this, we're in like the end of May now, but uh, I've been gone, you know, sick and then I was out of state for a while, so finally back and I can finally put these on. These have been sitting here for a while. Uh, this is the envelope they came in, usually it comes with two, but obviously I don't have a front plate on the Lamborghini and I don't plan on putting one. I don't know if it's required in your state, it is in mine, but to me it is worth the risk because I cannot stand how it looks with the front plate. Uh, it is a huge eyesore, so let's finally get these guys on with these tiny little baby screws. Okay, we got one on and the other one should line up. There it is. So we just add that on. And a quick second, and we are snug. All right, we're good to go. We are legal. By the way, I am about to uh, go to a little car meet. It's a pretty small little, like, uh, I wouldn't say private, it's public, but uh, 
intimate one, I guess is a good word for it. Um, so I'm probably not gonna be a whole lot of filming to do, but I don't know if you could tell. I don't know if it comes out on camera. This thing is filthy. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. Uh, I was driving it yesterday and I legitimately thought, oh, it's only overcast. You know, there's no rain on the forecast and uh, it rained and I drove it uh, through a whole lot of mud puddles and stuff. So the whole thing's filthy and now I'm about to drive it out in public. So that's, I don't really have time to wash it first. So, oh well, okay, cost. So, obviously cost with registration doesn't matter what kind of car it is. What matters is the purchase price of the car in the state of California. That's how they dictate what your registration cost is gonna be and your tax cost is gonna be. That's the total cost. Now, by the way, just a heads up, I'm not complaining. I knew the exact dollar amount down to the penny what I was gonna need to pay before I bought the car. So it's just an annoyance, but uh, 13,000 four hundred and six dollars later this freaking car is finally legal to drive on california roads that is insane not because of the amount mind you you know oh woe is me i had to pay registration on a lamborghini that's not the point here the point is if i lived like 15 hours north in say oregon where they have no vehicle sales tax or i think no sales tax at all for that matter um i would have paid zero to register my car besides you know whatever title transfer fee might cost 50 bucks at the dmv um so that's what's crazy um i know there's a couple other states like that no sales tax or maybe very minimal sales tax you know a couple percent uh i'm at nearly eight percent in my area um and then go 40 minutes north to la county and you're at 10.25 um so even me just being 40 minutes south i saved an extra three percent i don't know a couple thousand dollars i think um whatever it's too early for math but yeah anyway 13406 that's what it cost me to register my lamborghini in california so if you're interested in buying a lambo in california that is an average again if you buy a cheaper one like say a gallardo that's half the price expect half the taxes if you buy an aventador that's double the price double the taxes right again it's all based off of the sale price um so we won't go too deep into that but uh, there you go. If you've ever been interested, that's how much it costs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out to a little uh, car meet called Cars and Croissants at Little France Bakery here in, uh, I think I think the city's Aliso Viejo. Maybe, Aliso something, um, here in Southern California. Probably not gonna be a whole lot to film. It's usually only a couple of cars there. A couple of nice Perfumantes have showed up and uh, I think an Aventador SVJ one's matte red. It was beautiful. But um, yeah, no, anyways, that's it probably for today's video i just wanted to talk about the overall cost and again not complaining just an informational thing like it's pretty crazy um that just one state to another right uh same car same purchase price same registration same everything but the tax goes through the roof um you know upwards of tens of thousands of dollars difference um so again just one of those dang that's that's insane uh type things there so definitely uh back and ready to put more miles on this car um and if there's any other cost of ownership that you have any questions on please feel free to type in the comments and let me know subscribe if you want to learn more because we are going to be doing the first annual service uh not first annual service but my first annual service pretty soon uh, so we're going to go over that cost which i think is good just going to be mainly oil trans differential and just checking the brakes um obviously tires come and go um so i'm not really worried about that uh, mine are still okay our triple eight r's in the back that are uh have plenty of life left um uh, because i haven't beat on it too much yet uh, but we do plan on doing that. Also need to take a couple of Canyon drives. So hopefully pick up another GoPro, uh, mount them and, uh, see if this thing can spit flames. Um, I was rolling with a buddy at night one time. Um, and he let me know that just on a downshift, uh, big old flame came out. So that's kind of nice. Um, but, uh, don't need to do a, you know, obnoxious flame map like I had on my GTR, which I loved by the way, not complaining. But, uh, anyways, that is it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this informational video. Any other questions, please let me know. Have a great rest of your day. And remember this, guys, this, uh, this is what we work for. Uh, as, as annoying as it is, uh, you know, these are the toys that we work for. So keep working. We'll see you later. Uh, I guess I shouldn't do this with coffee in the car.